I'm cleaning out the blender that I just used. Look at that! Did it work? <laughs> That's one clean blender. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Except for it didn't reach the top, so I didn't put enough water in, so I'm just gonna That's okay. do that. Mom, look what? at that. Do you see any residue in there? I don't. Look at that, no residue. Katie decided that if she blends water vigorously after she makes her shakes, that that would be a good way to clean the blender. I think that's a pretty good job. Good and idea. it works because it gets all underneath the, like you know how the stuff gets stuck underneath the blade? Yes. If you put water in there, it'll also go underneath the blade and just cleans up the blade. Cleans it up. So you don't have to take it out and like scrub it down and like risk like hurting yourself. Right, yes, yeah, so you don't want to cut your finger. What are you doing, Ryan? Bye. Nothing. That's not true. I absolutely do. Um, I just are you winning a chess match? Yes. Congratulations. Can I that I made a smoothie? Uh, yes, Katie made a smoothie for her brother. It's a different kind this time. You got berry smoothie. You're out of just strawberries. Well, Triple berry blend. Strawberries. Oh, really? So is it raspberry, mm. blueberry, and blackberry? I bet it tastes fantastic. Well, I put yogurt, spinach, Ryan. This is so cute. <laughs> I put yogurt, spinach, and Ryan in it. Okay, Ryan. No, listen to what Ryan said. What did he say? I was telling him, I said it was, I walked into the room and I was like, would you like a shake? And he said, yes, please. And I said, it's, blue, it's berry banana. And he was like, mm, does it have anything else in it? And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, you know, like basil. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, do you mean spinach? <laughs> but I didn't say that. He was like basil, and then I waited, and then he goes kale. I was like, no, <laughs> spinach. All right, I have another awesome Ryan story from yesterday. Yeah. So Ryan's applying for a job to work at the golf course, and he's filling out his very first job application. And he got to the point where it said emergency contact, so he immediately says he wants to put Charlie down. I said, no, you can't put Charlie down. You gotta put me down, right? So he's putting me down and he puts in my name and he puts in my phone number. And then underneath it, it says relationship and he wrote married. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an innocent mistake. I totally get it. <laughs> That person's relationship to you, mother. Yes. <laughs> what does it matter if the emergency contact is married? I'm not sure, but that was very funny. Very good. So we should go drop that application off today. Are you ready to do that? Mm -hmm. Do you want to do it before your next class starts? We can do it during broom block. Mm -hmm. You want to do it after fourth period? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. <clears throat> your intent in your uh, chess match there. Yep. Okay. All right, good luck. I don't want to bother you if I'm bothering you. I'll Appreciate it. Let you be. Thank you. All right. All right, you guys. Brennan is home in between. You know, he's a senior this year, as you Hello, guys know. Yeah. What up, gang? He is never home because he's got so much going on in between. He goes to school in the morning and then always goes to the gym for about two and a half hours to work out. And he comes back, changes, and either goes to work, which is generally what he's been doing a lot about lately, or homework or something. Or playing golfing. He's golfing and he had golf practice and he had was doing golf with high school before, but now that's ended. How'd you do in the county championships, by the way? Uh, not great, but I mean, it is what it is. I think you're happy with your score, were you not? Well, I didn't play it for a few weeks before then, so it was kind of what I expected. Okay, all right. Anyway, so he's been doing a lot, trying to pack it all in in the last few weeks of his senior year. But now, let me show you. All right, I think one of the last things he saw about Brennan is he got in a fight, actually, really a wrestling match with his friend. Would you like to explain a little bit more about that? So this is actually rug burn. Um, no, and as a professional, no, grappler, I used the ground to my advantage. Yes. So I used my elbows <laughs> and my knees to uh, push off and, and gain advantage. Uh-huh. I got him with a leg lock, by the way. <laughs> did you win? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Well, uh, you better have after all that. Holy crap. Got with the submission. It's a good conversation starter. Everyone's like, what happened? <laughs> like, what happened? He's cutting his fingernails right now. Fight it. Yeah. Well, let me see here. Your eye looks a lot better. There's yeah, it's a, little... a lot better. And how about, you had something, oh, your elbows. Yes. There's your elbows. Oh my gosh. How is your friend, by the way? Did he, who was it? Oh, you Colin? See, you should see Colin, man. Oh, I miss, I miss one of my nails. This one? Is Colin a mess? Uh, yeah, his knees are pretty messed up too. We worked uh, the next day, so 
<laughs> we were both like hobbling around. Couldn't. So Brendan has not been, he's been skipping leg day at the gym because he can't bend his knees because he has all of those um, scabs on there. Here's his lunch. He's bringing oranges, a banana, a banana peanut butter sandwich on uh, eat the Jimmy Dave's Killer Oh, you are gonna? Yeah. All right, this is a breakfast biscuit sausage thing he's gonna put in there and a shake. That looks like a pretty good uh, meal. Brendan, so you work starting at 1.30? Correct. When do you come back? Uh, probably 7-ish. Seven 7-ish? Seven okay. What would you like for dinner tonight? I can't Ooh, decide what to make. That's a great question. I have a lot of stuff in there. Spaghetti and meatballs. Really? That is something I do not have. I'd have to actually go get it. Do you have any- It's beautiful girl, bud. It is gorgeous, yes. So much so that Mike is lounging in the sun. You see, there, he's like a cat. He and the cats like to lay in the sun. Edward was chilling right there a second ago. All right, any words of wisdom for us? Any like, um, anything we should contemplate for today? Should I start doing a quote of the day? That would be awesome. Actually, people are asking about Tune Tip Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So think about your Tune Tip for tomorrow. But yeah, quote of the day today. What you got? I have so many Tune Tips. Oh, do you want to just throw one in there now? This is actually going up on Tuesday. So right. yeah, what's your Tune Tip? The Thrill by Fits in the Tantrums. You could also listen to the one featuring Wiz Khalifa. But warning, it's explicit. Oh. But it's a banger. But, so the first one that you said is not explicit. Yeah, they made a regular one, and there's one featuring Wiz Khalifa. Okay, so the regular one is probably the one to listen to. Right. All right, sounds good. All right, hey Ryan, do you have a tune tip for Tuesday? A what? A tip on a tune that they should listen to. Um, favorite artist right now is Ian Dior. Ian Dior. Yes. Also, I've been on my Juice World stuff. Juice World? Because Graham really likes Juice World. Okay. And, um... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> anyway. Bye. I'm doing class. Okay. All right, you guys. Katie and Kane are going to try to figure out a problem. I've put a problem on them. Wait, what is it? Okay, so this is the deal. So listen to what happened here. Wait, we don't need the whole backstory. Well, yeah, no, I'm just not. Okay, so I was making rice, and I put in two cups of water to one cup of rice. And then I realized later, oh, shoot, I did it wrong. The recipe called for one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water. So the question is, how much more rice did I need to put in to make it correct? <laughs> this is actually, like, this is like, this is like a real thing. It's like exactly. An question. Exactly. So I figured it out, and I took care of it, and now I'm asking if they can figure out how much rice. I've already done it. The deal is done. The rice has been made. So Caden, I asked him what kind of a problem it was. Caden got it right. It's that it's a ratio problem. So we're dealing with ratios here. Wait, wait, wait. I can get my blackboard out if you guys would like me to walk you through it. I will, need, I will need you to walk me through this. Okay. Because I'm feeling like. Okay, oh. all right. <laughs> Wait. I might have learned this in middle school. What? Three quarters cup. In addition? Yes, in addition. No, you take away three quarters cup. No, you no, no. add three, three quarters cup. You add, no, you add. Wait, I literally said that. No, you add a quarter cup of water. I'm asking about the rice. What I need to do? Why would I add, no, no, add, add three quarters cup of rice. No, that's wrong. Three quarters cup is not right. All right, add .66666 of a cup. No. Uh, oh. No, you guys want me to walk you through it? Yes, actually. You guys, okay, look at Here you go, look at It's a ratio problem. I had one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water. I need to do That's not a ratio, that's a fraction. Wait, that's what I said. I need to know how ratio. much rice do I need for two cups of water. So one times two is two divided by. So it's two. It's it's two equals one point five x, right? Two equals one point five x. Then you divide this by one point five, and you divide this by one point five, and you're left with point three 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 x. That's so dumb. Wait a minute. I might have done that wrong. Cause hold on one second. You definitely did that wrong. Maybe that's, hold on one second. So if I have one cup of rice, rice, rice to two. That's where the rice is dry. All right, hold on, let me come back to it. Hold on, Tom, I think I might got it wrong. Hold on, stay tuned. Okay, I was right, you guys, I was right. X equals 1.333, which is one and a third cups of rice. I only put one in, one cup of rice for 1.5. I should have done one and a third cups of rice for two cups of water. Does that make sense? So I added another third a cup of rice, and we're good to go. Does that make sense? 
That makes sense? Lost. I can do it again if you'd like. Oh, no. you lost? Are you lost? No, no, no. I can no, do it again. Wait, let me just look at no. it. I can do it again. Here, Kaden, let's do it. No, All right, you guys, I we're going to do this off camera. Then. If you have any comments about that, comment below, but I'm going to take Kaden through in just a second. It's one of my favorite math things. I oh, love no, math. Okay. I love, love, did love you, math. Did you just, did you cross hold squat here? I did. Okay. All right, Brennan. It is time. Yes, you can tell him. Everybody's gathered here today. My. Uh-oh. Wait, you got to your car. He just coughed while you said that. It wasn't really true. We've got to your car. That's not true. That's not true. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. I'm sorry. Guess what came in? Are you serious? You're seeing your pictures. Kate, that was not nice. I know. I only thought about it for a brief moment. Are you serious? That was not nice. I know. I only thought about it for a brief moment. I didn't think about the consequences here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see the pictures. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, it's senior picture time, you guys. This is so exciting and sad all at the same time. I don't know about all that. Be very gentle with them. Wait. Very gentle. Well, actually, you should to... put some dolly paper down, Kate. Do you remember when I used to, um, like try and open people's presents because they took too long to Yes, open. yes I do. It was very annoying. I do remember that. Yeah, Ryan, you would take forever. Ryan, you probably remember that. <laughs> well, it's gonna take a minute. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have here. I like the, the white. You like what? I like the white. Kate, careful, you're not supposed to open it. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when I used to open people's presents? <laughs> Someone put numbing gel on his upper lip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! That's and so like he mean. can't smile, right? <laughs> you love you so much for a loving family. Aww. Aww. Look at him. Brennan! Can you believe you're a senior? Is it weird? Kinda. Yeah? No, Is it what you thought it was gonna be like? Let's see it in zoomed in version did, or zoomed in. Did, did, did we only Aww. order that picture? Smile. Smile. No, smile. <laughs> hey, it's literally me right there. Why do you have to <laughs> But it was you Wait, there a while ago. Did we only order that? <laughs> well, there's there's four different poses, and then we got, I got some of different poses. These aren't all of them, right? Yeah, no, you got them all the same. Remember, you were like, Katie, I think I'm just going to No, get but I did same. get one group of you with the um, tuxedo on. <laughs> did you get the most interesting man in the world one? Those They're supposed to be um, some of those in a tuxedo. Careful, careful. They're like playing cards. <gasps> we should get Brennan graduation oh playing God. cards. No. Is that a good idea? It's a great no. idea. Thank you, Kaden. No. Are there any with a tuxedo? I know I ordered tuxedo pictures. Here's the one. Okay, let me take a look. Do you want the tuxedo ones? I mean, I don't really want any of them. You don't want any of them? You don't want any pictures? I have plenty of pictures of myself. Ready, ready, ready? Okay. Mom, Ryan shuffling the cards. Oh my gosh, no, be careful. Stop. <laughs> stop. Brennan. <laughs> well done. Well oh, done. Ryan. Oh, you, you are fantastic. Yay. <laughs> I love it. All right, you guys. Brennan. Okay, so we have we have more to come about. Oh, hello. About Brennan Sr. and his next step, which today is April 20. Six. Six, and he has to make a decision by May 1st. So stay tuned, you guys. We'll find out what Brennan's next step uh -oh. is going to be. Me and Kaden will be dating for eight months tomorrow. Is that right? Yeah. Congratulations. I don't know, so it could go wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Could There's no guarantee that if you're going to make it that far. That's true. All right, let's share what made us happy today. Would you like to do that? Kaden, you get to start because you're on my left. What made you happy today, Kaden? Um, your dinner made me happy today. Oh, you are my favorite. Katie, what oh, made you happy today? That was a good answer. What made you happy today? Not hanging out with Keaton. <laughs> she does this every time. <laughs> hanging out with you made me happy. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Hanging out with Ryan. There you go. I didn't even see Ryan today. No. I didn't see Brent today either. Uh, <clears throat> I had a good day at school. Actually, no. We, we like, I don't know. I guess hanging out with Keaton. We signed you up for the second SAT. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what made you happy today, Ryan, Brennan? Ryan, where we are? Um, you are golfing it. today. Golfing? Golfing alone is it's not a tough one here. I like actually. it. 
Be quiet. Why? I'm complimenting Brian's I like, hair. I like walking alone. It's yeah. You went and played 18 by yourself. It's lonely. It is lonely sometimes. Okay. It's okay. nice being no, with yourself. It's, it's nice. Except when you had a bad shot, then it's... Let's go watch Kate. It's not nice. What made you happy today, Brennan? Waking up for English and getting my assignment done during class. Oh my oh. gosh, you know what else made me happy today? It was so <laughs> funny. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Mom comes to wake me, wake me up. So I, she woke me up and I fell back to sleep and, she, and then she came back in when school was like about to start and then she climbs up my ladder, I'm still asleep and she goes, Brian, and slaps me on the face. I did. She did the same thing. She called me at 7.15 and I fell back asleep and at 7.31 she came into my room. <laughs> yeah. She yep. I'm over me. it. I'm over you too. I'm over it. I was like, oh, uh -huh. And then when and you then, were during math class, I sat I'm sitting next to him during math class. I was resting my eyes you, for like 20 oh. seconds. He she falls was, asleep during I, math class. I, I was on my computer doing it. And then I was like, and then uh, my energy goes, right! <laughs> <laughs> Scared the bejeebers out of him, but hopefully it woke him up. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't close my eyes after that. I was like, oh my God. You guys, being a mom is the hardest job in the world. Do you understand? <laughs> like trying to keep these <laughs> yahoos in line it was, is terrible. It was, it was terrifying. It was, yeah, well, good. It should have been. All right. Did you say what made you happy? Oh yeah, waking up. Making and, it through Monday. All right. Congratulations. Monday. I had a... Like, the things that I did today, not that they were executed poorly, but they just didn't go well. Oh. Bad okay. stress day. Oh. Long day. Change. Long day at work. Okay. Uh, I got uh, food, though. Oh, good. Yeah, see, it's ending well, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. What made you happy today, Michael John? I was pretty Oh, well, thanks for asking. I had a great day at work. I got a ton of work done, and it was a good Monday. Good. Happy Monday. All right, you guys. No. What made me happy today? No happy Mondays. No happy Mondays? Um, I thoroughly enjoyed, after I got some of my work done, I took a break and I sat outside in the sun on the swinging porch chair. It was so oh, glorious. Nice. It being a nice day made me happy. It was beautiful. I drove back to from the gym with my shirt off. That's how you know. Yeah. It's a nice day. Well, before you take a bite, can you please take a step? Oh. All right, you guys, comment below what made you guys happy today. We hope you had a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. That's everything? Yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.